Hey, hi, hello, it's me, Carmen. I'm an onion in Alaska, and I know what you want to ask me. You want to ask me if one of those is Denali, and guess what? I don't know. I am on Northern Lights that I have been on before, but I have never been out this way. So let's take a look at a plane. Um, we're out behind in front of the airport. I don't know, behind, in front. Mismo. It's windy out here. Absolutely gorgeous. It is fall here. The little bit of fall that we get. And I believe I've mentioned it on a previous video, but um, the termination dust for the first little bit of snow up on the mountains is here. It's currently 37 degrees and it is 9.30 a.m. There's a bull moose and a cow moose. <clears throat> it's been a while since you guys have seen, since I've been able to stop and, uh, ooh, you can see his breath. Can you guys see his breath? I'm going to zoom in some. better angle for him. So you know how deep that foliage is, right? If she's down deep like that. If he's down deep like that. Gorgeous. Okay, goodbye Mises. No, that's not the correct term. I am being funny. It's still moose. Still moose. Bye moose. Okay, so it's been cold, so I'm going to make salmon chowder. Shh, bye-bye. First I got to pick the bones out. When I fillet fish, I like to take the bones out. <laughs> but these were gifted to me by a good friend. Some Pull in these pin bones out, and then I'm going to take the fish off the skin because, of course, nobody wants skin in their soup. Well, nobody in my family. Current temperature today: 51 degrees, 3 p.m. I'm sorry, Tommy. I forgot to tell you how warm it was when I was blueberry picking. Thought about that after I uh, posted the video. So sorry guys, I totally blinked. So um, I cut the corn nibs off two ears and added it to my pot with the onions and garlic, potatoes, ooh, it's hot. Anyway, uh, my salmon went in and then I added, I didn't have half and half, so I used some um, milk mixed with cornstarch, put that in there and then also added some heavy cream, I'll show you, hold on. And then so many green onions, so many green onions because I love them. Oh. I can't believe I forgot to pick the camera back up. And here's mommy. Hi girl. Stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. Trying to show me where she got lost. Yeah, well, you you may have to crawl out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to crawl out. But I'm gonna try and please don't hurt yourself. Move this. Hold on. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, let's see if I can get the other boot out. It would be really nice if I didn't lose my boots. Feel my right one coming. So, girls, don't go in the mud flats. Never, ever. Is 
it, it's almost there. It's coming up. I feel it. Woo! Hope it might just rush up my sleeve. Not the type of mud wrestling I ever envisioned. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Karma crawl out and just oh, use the. I, I understand that, but... Oh. No, I saw, I saw you. I could see it start sinking. But did he say anything? No, but I was like, okay, well, she keeps going. And then, like, I... I was going. I was no. going. There was no problem. And but then... hold on. And then... All right, so what am I doing? So I roasted two pie pumpkins. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm pretty bad about uh, tape and stuff. Then I, or I start and then I don't show the next step or I, or I don't start at the beginning and I'm sorry. I am, I just have to apologize and try and do better. I am adjusting to a new shift and different days off and a new school schedule and it's a lot. Anyway, so I've roasted these two pumpkins and I'm going to put them in my little whiz uh, dicer thingy. And then I will have my own fresh pumpkin puree. And these are from Pie Pumpkin, so that's what they're supposed to be for. I believe that they're a lot, um, I don't want to say drier, but not as wet and more fibrous. Yeah. So when it's like this, I can just break a chunk off with my fingers. Um, mm, it smells so good. So, as a child, I grew up eating boiled pumpkin as a vegetable, pumpkin and rice, steamed pumpkin, um, had pumpkin pie in the States, and it's, it's good. Um, I prefer a sweet potato pie, but that's just a texture thing. I'm going to keep going. So this is the first little batch. It's not even half a pumpkin yet. I've put in my own pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, and ginger. That's the pale stuff over there. And I'm going to blend, and then I will have pumpkin to make my pies and to make pancakes. And I'll save some of this other pumpkin to give to Tobias for his dinner. He loves it. It's good for his stomach, so is ginger. Remember that pumpkin puree that I made at the end of September? Well, it is time for it to shine. That second, <clears throat> all right, that second pumpkin had a bunch of seeds. Like, wow. Still not complaining. I know exactly what's in it. Spices so far. Um, no sugar. It's weighed out. So I have two 15 ounce bags and one. Well, they're actually 15.1 ounce and one 17.2 ounce bag. So I am ready. Most of the recipes were asked for 15 ounce can. So that's why I've got it like that. And I am ready to make my pies later on in the fall season. Oh my gosh. Who's a precious baby? Who's a precious baby? He doesn't mean to be naughty, mommy. He's just, he's just a baby. Very naughty baby. Yeah. 